want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back. Barbecue sauce. Good shit. All right. Good stuff, man. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm King Jack. Today, I'm joined by my very good friend, I8 and 911T. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, King Jack? What's going on? What's up, dude? Doing good, doing good. Today, we're looking at your video right now. Your Ascension world record, 186 rounds. Fucking congratulations, dude. Yeah, thanks a lot, KJ. Really appreciate it, man. Uh, just a lot of work. Hell uh, <laughs> A lot of work. Hell yeah, that was a lot of work. All right, go. Tell us really quickly, how long did this take? Uh, approximately about just under 75 hours. You animal. Very nice, man. And uh, talk about talk about this game, man. What was your strategy? How many kills did you have and all that good stuff? Well, I ended the game with about just over 130,000 kills. I believe it was 130,147 to be exact. And the strategy basically was to go with whatever was going to get me through the rounds as fast as possible. So for the most part, I used the Thunder Gun, which is the fastest way, of mm -hmm. course. But then there are, there are times where you need to use the traps because uh, hitting the traps would be faster than trading in at times. So uh, a lot of times I used the traps as I was trading in. So that way, by the time I got the Thunder Gun back, I would have less zombies to kill and the rounds would go by faster. All right, got it. All right, man, and I'm watching this video right now, and I'm, I'm sure everyone is noticing the disgusting frame lag you're getting, man. Talk about it. How bad was it? Oh, wow, man, I'm telling you, like, well, I first started noticing around, <laughs> like, uh, around 145 or so, and then what happens mm -hmm. is, though, is if you have a claim route while you're running around, it goes away. Uh, so it's not a major issue. Yep. But then as you progress through the rounds, it gets bad enough where even when you have a claim route you still see the frame lag and it just gets worse and worse and it gets to a point where it looks like uh you're getting like five or six frames per second so per second <laughs> yeah yeah it was giving me a headache too to be honest and then it required a lot of extra focus you know because one thing about the frame lag you end up uh it raises your sensitivity for some reason on the controllers so you can easily turn back into the zombies or turn the wrong direction constantly so you have to really watch out for that yep that's this i gotta say man this is by far the worst frame lag i've ever seen and i've seen some pretty bad frame lag myself is there anything you did to uh... help you out with this well normally i play on sensitivity eight in my game yep. uh... the first time it was started getting really bad i lowered it to five and then eventually i even lowered it all the way down to three and then also, you, you, what you have to do is turn very slowly with the controller. That actually helps out a lot, too. So those are the two things that I would say help me out the most. And I also tried uh -huh. not to look at the frames too much and just more mainly concentrate on where I was going. So I would that way I wouldn't yeah. let the frame lag, like, dis, you know, dis, discourage me or distract me too much. All right, so you got to round 186. Congratulations, man. That's just unbelievable. Are you happy with that? Was Did you hit your goal? Well, I was happy with the game, um, but my goal actually was to get to 190 plus. And uh, I knew it would be tough because I know previous people that played this map have reset like in the early 170s uh, in the past. So asking to go an extra 20 oh. rounds further I knew it would be tough. So I tried to play the game as fast as I could in terms of strategy-wise to see how many extra rounds I could get in. So I fell a little bit short, but... I was still satisfied with the game, though. It was really a good game, though, overall. <laughs> and you should be. Very good game. Okay. All right, so the first time I met you, I ate. The first question I had for you was, what What does your name mean, man? And I'm sure a lot of people are asking the same thing. So why don't you really go ahead and quickly explain, how did you pick your name? Yeah, it's, well, basically, um, a while ago, I used to, like, street race a lot. And because I was really, really into like fast cars and modifying them, things like that. So I have a uh, 300ZX twin turbo, which was modified. It was making about 600 horsepower. And what happened uh -huh. was I ended up getting into a race with a Porsche 911 turbo, 
we met at a gas station, and then he ended up wanting to race for fun. So we raced on the freeway, <laughs> and I think I went. It was going like over 160 miles an hour or something like that, and he was about 10 cars back. And then when I let off the gas and to let him go by and to wave to him to say good race. I guess he got mad, and he just didn't even look at me, and he just, like, kept going straight. He didn't even look my direction, so it was pretty funny. Huh? <laughs> funny stuff. Good story. Yeah. So, Very basically, good. my right. uh, uh, license plate means I ate a 911 Turbo. That's what that stands for, because I, I raced a 911 Turbo and beat him on the freeway. That's where it kind of comes That's where it comes <laughs> from. All right, guys, there you have it. I ate a 911T is a racer. And uh, please check out this guy's channel. He's a very good friend of mine. He's got some pretty uh, amazing videos on his channel. He's a high round zombie player. I and I go way back. We used to play co-op on Black Ops 1 Zombies all the time. And it was a lot of fun. But for Black Ops 2, we've been playing uh, mostly solo for the most part. Right, I ate. Yeah, that's right, man. Definitely so. Yep. And really recently, I want to talk about this now. You played Mob of the Dead, and you got to uh, 170, right? Round 170. Yeah, yes, sir. 170 rounds. With only two downs. Yeah, just, and just that, two downs. I don't. I'm. I'm not sure like what the record is, but as far as I know, that's kind of far heads and shoulders above anyone else, right? I in terms of so. downs? I believe so. Uh, I know in that game I had one down on 118, and then my second down was on 146. Those were the only two downs I had uh, on, yeah. in the game. And Wait, did you get reset that game, or you, some kind of error happened? Oh, I got the uh, Another G-spawn. Kind of I got the G-spawn, and basically what happened God was... Goddamn G-spawn. Yeah, what happens is the electric cherry perk... Uh, can cause a G spawn when you reload your gun. So as soon as that, as soon as I reloaded my gun, I got the G the G spawn screen right away, and then the game just basically ended. And I had a feeling that that was going to happen at some point in that game, but I would just kept playing. I said, I'll just keep playing and see how far I can go. And whenever it happens, it just happens. You know, it it been a good game, so I was satisfied with it. Yep. All right, guys, I'll leave the link to that video right here in one of these corners. You guys can check it out if you guys want to. I know I've been thinking about this for a while, and I know a lot of other people have been thinking about it too, but what would you like to see in this next uh, Zombies DLC that's about to come out? Well, one thing I was, would like to see in Black Ops uh, 2 would be a, uh, like a super mystery box, and basically what I mean by that is you still get one wonder weapon in the box, just like before, except it may be any uh -huh. wonder weapon from any previous Black Ops map, which I think would make the game a lot more fun and interesting. Uh, and a lot of fun yeah. to play. Uh, you know, you might get the uh, flip of fire. You could get a thunder gun. You could get a uh, VR11. You could get a, the baby gun. You could get the, uh, you know, basically any of the uh, wonder weapons from the previous maps. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, create like a lot of different strategies that people would be would start using based on what gun they would have and how the map is and stuff like that. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So would you say, would you think you would be allowed only one Wonder Weapon at a time? Oh, uh, yes, yeah, definitely, definitely. Only one Wonder Weapon. <laughs> yeah, definitely that, yeah. We, we wouldn't want to make it too easy or anything, but yeah. That would be pretty it, OP, all right. Yeah, it would be one Wonder Thunder Weapon. Thunder Gun and Max Wave Gun at the same time. Yeah, that would be a little bit too much, <laughs> but just one Wonder Weapon, you know. Uh, you don't know what you're going to get. It could be any one. You know, imagine you get the Scavenger. But you're like around 100, uh -huh. 100 where it does no, not much damage. Like, oh, man, well, I guess i got to go you know, trade this in for something else. That's uh, a good idea. I'd like to see that. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. All right, man, those are some good ideas. So I just want to know, man, what are your plans now for uh, Zombies? Do you have any uh, goals or plans? Um. Well, looking forward to the next uh, the next DLC to come out, see how that map is. Uh, mm -hmm. Also, in the meantime, uh, I'm also considering going back, playing some of the... Uh, older maps I haven't played yet in terms of solo play uh, seeing how far I can get you know what rounds I can get to should be a lot of fun and we'll any uh, particular maps in mind um I thought about playing Kino even though I know your game you know you got uh -huh. the 199 rounds so that's it's gonna be pretty hard to do on the uh, console but I'd just like to at least get a high round in there and see how well I can do uh, uh Doris 
uh, definitely five. I haven't attempted five at all, and uh, that map looks like a lot it's of fun. fun. Yeah, so I definitely like yeah, to attempt is. that one too. All right, guys. A lot of you guys have been asking uh, when we're going to be doing the Reese, and I just wanted to let you guys know that it's going to be uh, very soon, in the next uh, couple of weeks or so. Right now, it looks like June nineteenth. Myself and a bunch of other elite zombie players, like you, I eat, right? Are you in with us? Yeah, man. For this that race, sounds, that sounds good, man. It sounds gonna be a lot of. We're fun. gonna, yeah, we're gonna be doing this race to 200 on Darice, and right now the list of zombie players that are gonna be joining with us is uh, pretty uh, prodigious. We've got uh, myself, I ate a 911T. Horde Kill Repeat, The Frenzy, just to name a few. But um, the only thing that would uh, postpone this is if the uh, next DLC is going to be released uh, late this month. Because we do not want this race, which is probably going to take at least 7 days to conflict with the uh, next DLC. But I'm really looking forward to this. I ate, I know uh, it, the uh, competition is going to be intense, man. Yeah, wow. man, definitely, man. A lot of great players <laughs> out there. Lots of great players. You ready for this, man? Seven straight days of playing? Yeah. It's, yeah seven it's seven plus straight days. Seven. Yeah, it's like seven days we're putting in like eight, ten hour days. It's going to be disgusting. But it's going to be fun because um, all of us are going to try to live stream it. So we're just going to... You guys are going to have the opportunity to see like, I don't even know, six, seven... I don't know how many players are in this with us. A lot of streams all at once. You can see who's the fastest and who gets to 200. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that one of us gets it because it's it's about time someone hits 200 on Black Ops One Zombies. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll make another video about it in the future just to uh, let you guys know who's participating and exactly what time we will be starting. All right, again, thanks again for joining me today, I8. Congrats again on your record, dude. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. And uh, this was a lot of fun. And uh, definitely hope to talk to you guys uh, very soon. Hell yeah. All right, guys, again, please check out his channel. Link is in the video right here. It's got a lot of great content. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Keep calm and kill zombies. Peace out.